you say, absolutely huge thing. <laughs> as big as me. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. H. Welcome to the Sunday shave, the weekend shave. And I hope uh, it's come around quick enough for you since Wednesday. And uh, you're in good health and um, having good shaves and all that sort of good stuff. New soap, new brush and a razor I've not used for a while. Um, so we'll go new first brush. Um, DS Cosmetic uh, scent. Uh, this is red, resin handled synthetic. Beautiful, soft. Very reminds me of the Razor Rock, the uh, orange in the middle there. Uh, Razor Rock 400 in length, uh, not in style obviously, but the same sort of thing. Good grip. Um, so I'm going to use that today. I'll just stick that in the water. Um, a soap, brand new soap, um, just been released, I think, uh, by PAA. Doug and Fran. Doppel, doppelganger. Uh, absolutely black labelled is the black label. There is a, I think it's like a, a reddish label one, but this is the doppelganger black label. And when you smell it, this is where I've had, I've had this in a few soaps now, this sort of aftershave, top end cologne scent. Beautiful. It's a crope. And it's, um, well, there it is. That's what it looks like. Am I holding it right? Yep, that's the way. <laughs> so thank you, Doug and uh, Fran. They've sent me, I've had this for weeks and weeks. Um, and initially it was sent out to shavers to try. Uh, it may not have been released. Um, didn't want videos making of it, he just said try it, lather it up, uh, any feedback please. And um, as soon as I lathered it, I didn't, I haven't shaved with it obviously, but um, I have lathered it up before. And wow, <laughs> the scent, um, that did it for me. And you know, to be fair, uh, PAA do have, they've hit the bar a long time ago in quality and stuff like that. And they do involve you know the customer to be uh, have people testing stuff and it's good um that's the way to be isn't it because at the end of the day it's us that's buying it now this was sent to me this was sent to me um as was this brush and i'm going to use this is the paa travel scuttle uh, plastic good ridges see i've spread the soap out in the bottom there um comes with a cork. I'm not going to fill it today because it's not cold. The cork there. And it also comes with a neoprene sleeve you can put on. I should have brought it in uh, for comfort or whatever to hold it if you need it. And it comes in this bag. I've showed it before. Crown King um, Travel Scuttle. I've shown it before and it's quite a good. I thought the reason I'm using it because this is this brush is so long. So I thought, yeah, that'll do it. So. I'll just create the lather and then I'll show you what razor we're using. With using this new soap, I thought, right, I'll try their soap in their scuttle. <laughs> now, I said this when I use this, God, this is good. When I use this scuttle, if you're clumsy but you want a scuttle, plastic can't go wrong. Uh, nice size, fits in my hand. Um, it's a travel scuttle, but you can, don't have to travel, you can use it at home. Look at this already. <whistles> Good lathering. Oh, I knew this already, didn't I? Absolutely. Look at this. <whistles> Somebody walked in now, they think I'm just about to cream on top of a cake. Right. Oh, come on, come on. Now this... Uh, Soap is um, based upon the um, something I don't own myself, Christian Dior's um, Sauvage, uh, or Sauvage as you say, it's Sauvage, 
uh, that scent, uh, that aftershave, that cologne, that EDT. Now I can't compare them because I don't have that um, that aftershave. But uh, you never know, it might be on the old Christmas list. Judging by the scent of this soap, anyway, if it's uh, it would be good to sort of combat to combine them, but to eat to see which is if it is the same. But um, anyway. It's a PAA shave this, soap, scuttle and razor. This is the PAA Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Dock Razor, double open comb, as you can see there. Now, a lot of people, first impressions of these type of razor, you look at that, that's, that's, that's gonna be, that's gonna be aggressive. <laughs> Not necessarily. Um, some of them are sort of a mid aggression, but these open combs allow good you know, the the blade is not sort of, it's, how can I put it, the soap and the water and the moisture is able to flow through easily and it glides. Um, not that it doesn't on a normal razor, but it's double, well, double the, um, uh, it works better, double, I can't speak today. 4.30, getting up in the morning, <laughs> five days a week. Anyway, that's what it looks like. There's the base plate, and there's the head. See, you can comb your hair with that. And I'm going to remember that feather blade, second use, feather high stainless. So that's going on there. There's two sort of long bars. You can see the blade sitting on, and they fit on them holes there. I'm hoping this camera. I noticed a couple of shaves now. The um, on the screen here. When I'm watching it back, there's like a... I thought there was something on the lens. I don't know if anybody else noticed that. But what it is, is these lights have reflected somehow on this mirror behind. That's what it was. But um, I'm hoping I've turned them a bit. I hope it doesn't show, because I can't see it on the screen now. But anyway, PAA, double open comb. There is overhang to be aware of. Quite a bit. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Feather. <laughs> Wet the face. go so here we go um, what does this say DS cosmetic shaving brush yeah I don't know what the name of this brush is oh that's soft oh look at this Nice. Stand still. Breathe in. Smell that. Absolutely. Like I've said before, it's. Uh... Wow, if you've shaved with this and then had the thing as well, going out to work, or. I bet you'd have some turning heads. Oh, you smell nice, sir. Oh, thanks. No, I didn't mean like that. They'd say, you know, you smell nice, what's the, because uh, that's what I do, I've said it many times. PAA, double open comb. I think these, the new version, um, well this might be it actually, it's uh, nickel plated, you can get it in the satin finish, this is like the chrome finish. Um, I've used it before, but it's uh, very nice, I just heat it up. Double open comb, yeah, it allows the uh, whiskers and the lather to flow. You'll see now, first pass. Wow, that feather feels nice. I thought it would feel more aggressive in this than that. I knew it wasn't an aggressive razor. Look how thick that is, it's cracking. Beautiful. Feels nice in this. Looks aggressive, maybe, does it? Can you see? See the blade? It's um it's it's a mid-aggression for me this. Um oh 
watch it's lovely yeah and the feathers always been second and third shave has always been when it's at its peak for me it's uh, it's not over sharp got a couple of hairs on the brush that's new that's a uh, Beautiful scent. It's not overpowering. It's just a nice. It's there. In a nice way. Feels very slick. Good audio feedback with that razor. You can hear it. Wow. No messing. You see, I'm still finding out blades work better with this, with that. A feather in that, fantastic. Normally it'd be on a Wilkinson Sword Classic or a But for a mid aggression, that is beautiful. So let's test this soap. So it lathers up, no blooming for me. Uh, place some in the scuttle, spread it out, wet the brush, obviously lathered up as you can see thick and creamy in no time so i'm going to try the scent is lovely there's a hair here somewhere the scent is lovely the slickness after the first pass is it yeah wow that's good well i'm rubbing the soap back in here but um wait a minute let's try with water let's try it excellent slickness yeah no problem and that's on the first pass, it'll get better with each application, as you think. Okay, look at this. Nice scuttle, it's very lightweight. You can hold it all sorts of ways, look at it. <laughs> but it's uh, very handy if you're clumsy. Look at this. In fact, I could have halved that soap I put in there. Didn't put a lot. This brush, synthetic, is beautiful. It's soft as a synthetic. The handle's nice. There's a nice, if you can see, it's nicely gripped here. Wow. If you like it wetter, obviously add water. More water, but I like it like this. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful scent. Very posh, as I call it. Very posh. Across the growth now. The old uh, PAA Dock razor. Double open call. Have to be aware of that overhang. I can't go how comfy this feels. If, in honesty, if I was blindfolded, I say this a lot, I would never say that's a feather for me because I can tell a feather straight away. But that would fool me. That feels so nice. There's no, oh, it's just wonderful. If you use feathers a lot, you'll say, well, yeah, I've always used feathers. It's always felt good. But, uh, for me, a feather is an aggressive blade. 
well it's sharp very very sharp and sometimes on the first pass it's so sharp it's tucky funny enough but um, not not the case here across the growth So it's a mid-aggression razor for me. Um, does the feather make it aggressive? No, that's what I'm saying. It uh, feels very smooth, very nice. See, in that razor, I could use a feather a lot, you know, all the time. If I just had this razor. So it just shows you. We've had some windy and uh, rainy weather, started on Friday. Um, it's a tail end of some hurricane or storm somewhere abroad and it's come around and we're having the tail end of it. But of course no, well, not unless it comes back worse or something, but nothing hopefully major here. As some countries had it, wow. And they're probably still clearing up aren't they? I always feel you know for people your homes and things some things in your home cannot be replaced can they? You, your family and some sort of um, heirlooms and you know possessions from family handed down and things. Oh yes yeah, slick wow oh smell that's a lovely scent aftershave scent very posh wow that type of scent I'd use on my wedding day, you know that type, or you're going to a wedding, you're going to a christening, you're going somewhere special. That's a type of, uh, but as I say, I don't own the Christian Dior Sauvage. So I can't compare it, sadly. I'll have to go and, uh, well, I might put it on the list for Christmas. <laughs> I don't know if it's expensive or anything, but um, very nice. Because I didn't uh, personally know that was based on it, because um, I'd just seen it, uh, a few people had said and online, and then I thought, oh, look at that, that's halfway, well, I'm over halfway, but that's beautiful, third against the growth now, Sunday dinner, I'm going to add water to this now, see what happens. Uh, no Sunday dinner today. We're out. Going to a bit of an event. Um, maybe on our way by the time you're watching this. But uh, yeah, um, I'm going to try and film bits of that event. Uh, we're going to visit something of interest to us both. Uh, not that far away. Uh, as I said, I'll film clips of it but that'll be on my other channel. So what I'm going to do for dinner, it'll be a, a sort of an evening meal when I get back. We're not going to be late but the meal will be something like um, gammon. Uh, chips, thick chips, or you call them fries, maybe. Gammon chips and egg. I don't like pineapple on gammon. Gammon, fried egg, soft yolk on top, bit of black pepper, chips, and garden peas. Beautiful. I said, uh, no lashento, sorry. <laughs> right, against the growth. No lashentos of gravy. So you'll have to have it naturally this week. Unless you're going out, or someone else will have it, hopefully. If you're having a Sunday dinner. Love my Sunday dinner. 
more than likely I'll have one in the week. And we'll call it a weekday dinner. And that will have lash entered. Still feels very smooth this. Wow, feels very precise. Good glide, slickness, absolutely good scent, comfortable, and this raise has amazed me it today, it's just, oh, I've used feather many, many, many times. Um, but it's never felt as good as this. Notes always, I always note it down. Um, some good combinations. Wow. That scent is lovely, present, lovely, always present. You can hear the rain and the wind, I don't know if you can pick it up. This is excellent uh, for getting under the nose. And lip corners. Wow. Probably overdone it on there. You can never overdo it, especially when you've got the old 3 2 1 coming up. Can we do it together, please? 3 2 1. Pick up time, baby. <laughs> Yeah, t-shirts coming out, merch, Paul H. <laughs> on, the, on the back, there'll be a, that, and pick up time, baby. <laughs> That's enough. You'd sell one, <clears throat> and that'd be me, probably. Right, here we go. Against the, against the growth. Well, it is against the growth on the neck here, yeah. Pick up time. We can hear. Ah, I knew, see, I thought I'd overdo it there. Even though it uh, feels beautiful and comfortable, you can still overdo it. Wow, that feels nice. Of slickness. So here and here. Override. Gone too far. But it feels beautiful. Um, no need for me to have any pre shaves on this. The soap provided excellent slickness glide and the razor combined. That's a good razor for, you know, as I said, letting everything through. Uh, scent amazing, good to lather. Yeah, you're on a winner there. You're on a winner there, Trig. <laughs> Play it cool, son. You know what I mean? Nice and cool. Through, through the bar. You wouldn't understand what that is if you... Unless you watch British comedy. Only fools and horses. I have the box set. 
many years now. Del boy. Yeah, very nice. You've hit it on the head here. Oh, just a bit there, but. Hmm. There we go, lovely. Rinse off. I am using a posh um, aftershave today. One I used to wear a lot of, but I've worn this for a while. So I'll show you now. Well, in a minute. I'm going to use just a basic supermarket witch hazel. Sainsbury's this is. Use it up. No feedback, no sting, nothing like that. Beautiful. Sometimes you expect when you've had a bit of a nick, but as you can see, there's nothing major. It's just just the skin warning me. Don't overdo it. Right, and then. Well, I'm going to put the moisture cream first because this is a an expensive after. Well, it was aftershave. Oh, L'Oreal Hydra Men Expert Hydra Sensitive Soothing Birch Sap. So a bit and there, and then we'll put the aftershave. I would do it this way round if I was going somewhere out, which we are, as you know, heading off. So, cream and then the aftershave on top. And the only reason it's like that is because I want it to smell. Nice. Longer. So, what is it? Get that cream off my hands. Because there's glass. It is Paul Smith. There you can see that. Uh, Paul Smith Extreme. You can see it. If you can get the top off. This, uh, this is amazing. This is glass itself. Right, I'm going to spray it on. Oh yeah, I've had that for a while. Not the same as the soap, but in the same league. Beautiful. Yeah, I used to love wearing that. I haven't worn it for a while. I haven't used a lot of it. Paul Smith Extreme. Can you still buy it? I presume. Oh, that's nice. Wow. That is nice. Okay, so we'll go over what we've used. This uh, new, re new release. Uh, PAA Doppelganger. <laughs> Great name, that. Doppelganger. Black Label. Crope. And... As I say, the scent is based um, on the Christian Dior uh, Sauvage, 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 I say, um, which I don't have, which is a shame really, because it'd be nice, to, as I said, to combine them to see if it's similar or whatever. But um, very nice soap, easy to lather, as you've seen, no blooming as it is in the scuttle. Thick and creamy, you can wet it if you want, but I like it thick and creamy. And it very quickly gets there on the face. Good glide, good protection and good slickness. And a fantastic scent. Well done. And thanks very much, Doug and Fran. So you worked a treat. Um, that's all you can see. And then you got the DS. Look at this. See these hairs? You got a few coming off. DS Cosmetic. Synthetic brush, red handle, very, uh, in my eyes, not the same shape, but very sort of Razor Rock 400E. <laughs> Use the PAA Travel, no, the Crown King, sorry, Travel um, Scuttle, very lightweight, does the job, good ridges inside, and you can pick them up there, but excellent, there's still a lot of soap left. 
Um, then we rinsed off with water. Of course, we used the PAA dock, double open comb, excellent razor, and surprised me excellent with a feather blade. And as I say, the feather's very aggressive or sharp, um, above sharp as normal blades for me and for many people. It does have overhang, it's a three piece non adjustable razor, it's a short razor, good knurling, good grip. Um, very comfortable, I enjoyed that shave with that and that's a combination I remember, a feather, very nice. Rinsed with water, supermarket witch hazel, then I put the moisture cream first and I put Paul Smith Extreme, I should say Paul H Extreme after. That colour thing there, um, beautiful scent, very nice and that is it, I'll leave you in peace. So whatever you're doing today, I hope you have a fantastic day. Uh, as I say, you're in good health, your family's in good health, happy. Um, whether you're going out, you're staying home, whatever you do, look after yourselves. Have some great shaves. Uh, we're heading out, so we'll see you on Wednesday for the midweek shave. Thanks again for all your support. And um, all the links I'll put in the description where I can. And uh, yeah, have a great weekend. Thank you very much. Over and out.